All right, this is a game that uh, I call the Fireman's Challenge. Um, what it is is a game that represents an old uh, Fireman's Challenge where they used to have to spray the hose at like a big bucket across the line and they had to spray the water for accuracy. Um, so it's kind of a take off of that. But um, as you can see, this, uh, this blue line here is a rope a long jump rope that I have tied at, on the basketball rim on one side of the gym and all the way tied to the other basketball him, uh, basketball rim in the gym. So this is going all the way across the gym and not on the floor. Now on that, on that uh, basketball, on that net I should say, on that net, what I have here is a beach ball. So we'll put in a beach ball here. So we'll just do this beach ball here represented by this red circle. So essentially what I got here is this beach ball that is tied to the rope with a baton. So on this circle here, on this beach ball, I have an old baton. I have a baton with a rope strung through and then I have it uh, duct taped to the beach ball. So the beach ball, the beach ball can move up and down this line up and down this line okay and again it's off the floor now they the object of the game is for each team to throw the ball throw like a yarn ball at the beach ball and get it to move up and down each team's side so I usually have it start right in the middle here we'll get rid of this guy here We'll get that cone out of here. So this guy will just start in the middle and these obviously here, these triangles here are, oops. These triangles right here are cones that separate each team and from their side. So on this signal, what the person will do is this player right here, this player will take a now what I use is yarn balls um, something that can be thrown pretty easily what their job is to do is throw the yarn balls at the beach ball so we'll put some yarn balls in here really small ones okay so this player would go grab a yarn ball okay and with an overhand throw their job is to try and throw this yarn ball at the beach ball here and their goal is to try and get the beach ball to move all the way over to this team's side and the kids just keep throwing as many yarn balls as they can and obviously the player this guy on this team here he would come over here and let's say this yarn ball was here this player would go pick up the yarn ball and their attempt is to try and throw the ball the yarn ball hit the beach ball here and have it move back over to this team's side now the way i play it is that with the older kids like fourth and fifth graders we have i use like a baseline uh to where they got to get it across so for instance like we have our back line here baseline where they would play and I'll draw another line over here. So here's our baseline, just kind of an example. So the kids would do is they keep throwing, and if the ball goes back and forth and moves all the way across to this line, well then the team, the team over here would win. The team over here would win. Whereas if they got, if the kids kept throwing and they got it to move all the way across to this line, then obviously this team would win so just kind of a cool little way of working on throwing and catching with k first second and third graders obviously we just keep throwing and i probably and i move the uh lines a little closer so obviously their line uh, let's get this guy out of here 
so we would move the line here and then we'll take this guy and I'd move the line here so it'd be a little bit closer for the kids uh, to throw with the little kids so anyway this is called the fireman's challenge and the information will be on the blog thanks